The Aera 5 Pro Bundle by Accusonus is a powerful set of audio restoration plugins for audio engineers, filmmakers, content creators and streamers, podcasts and voiceover artists. The plugins are super simple to use and do not require you to be an engineering wizard to achieve quality results. There are a total of 13 plugins in the bundle designed for specific tasks. Mainly these revolve around working with dialogue, however tools such as Noise Remover Pro and Diesa Pro can be used to treat other recordings. Big shout out to the guys at Accusonus for providing me this bundle for review. So let's start by taking a look at the different plugins and what they do. When inserting Voice Auto EQ on your track, it will analyse the incoming dialogue and allow you to sculpt the sound in real time. It offers a sort of XY approach where you can drag the node around in the centre to give the dialogue more body, air or clarity. You also have control over the intensity of the EQ settings. Modest settings make the dialogue sound more natural, whereas a more intense setting will emphasise the curves used. For the most part, Voice Auto EQ does a great job of providing you a very workable sound very quickly. And for most of you, that's going to be a big plus, especially if you're not very engineer minded when it comes to audio and mixing and you're not too sure about, you know, how you should be tackling dialogue. Having said that, you do have to be very conscious about how much you're pushing the intensity slider. For me, if you go beyond three, it doesn't matter if you dial in more body or air or clarity, you'll find that it tends to overhype certain frequencies that can make it sound a little bit unnatural. Especially if you've got it leaning more towards the air side of things, you might find that around the uh, 4 to 5k uh, to the 9 to 10k, it tends to overcook things a little bit, which is fine because you can dial it back with the intensity, but it's just something to be conscious about. Plosives are generated by words that cause sudden bursts of air into the microphone diaphragm. Typically, pop shields are used when recording dialogue to help prevent this and capture most of that air. But sometimes this isn't possible to do so. Plosive Remover does a really good job of detecting plosives and removing them or attenuating them from the dialogue track. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Where's the pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 The plugin has two modes it can work in. There is a normal mode for those general sort of occasional plosives that are not too invasive. And then it has an extreme mode for those really stubborn plosives that are quite loud and require just a little bit extra work to remove them or attenuate them so they're not too invasive. Now, both of these modes do exactly what you would expect them to do. And what's really neat is you have a little waveform display at the bottom of the plugin so you can see where the plosives are and how they are being attenuated. Voice Deepener is a plugin that does exactly what it says. It deepens the sound of your voice without unnaturally altering pitch. When you talk, the mechanical properties of your head make your voice sound deeper than it actually is. So if you've ever recorded yourself and listened back and wonder why you sound so weedy and thin and trebly, then that is why. So Voice Deepener essentially makes things sound like you would hear from your own internal perspective when you're talking. There are two modes to choose from, normal and punchy. Both do exactly what you would expect them to do. So normal makes your voice deeper, but in a smoother way, it's more natural sounding. So it's more so how you would hear uh, from your own internal perspective. Whereas punchy makes you sound more like some badass voiceover artist that's dropping some epic lines for an action trailer with many explosions. Now, when you engage the punchy mode, be aware that it is more of an emphasized effect. So you might want to dial back on the processing so it doesn't sound too overhyped. In my experience with it, 
around 20 to 35 maybe 40 percent is a nice area to play around in but this will vary from person to person because everybody's voice is different clipping occurs when the input level of a recording is too loud for your system so when the signal gets pushed past the threshold into the red and clips the waveform gets chopped off at the top, it gets squared off or clipped, and this is what causes distortion. Now in the mixing world, clipping is actually used to help enhance the low end on subs and also percussion, but usually you use a clipper plugin to drive a signal into to chop off the tops of the waveform. If you're in the restoration side of things or you're trying to edit something for a podcast or a news uh, interview, anything, and you find that the recording isn't great, there's a lot of distortion, then this is where you're going to reach for a declipping plugin to try and treat that and salvage what you can. We have now turned it up to 11. The gain is at ludicrous levels. I'm talking into this like a maniac to distort the crap out of it, and hopefully the D-Clipper will do a decent job of salvaging this terrible dialogue. We have now turned it up to 11. The gain is at ludicrous levels. I'm talking into this like a maniac to distort the crap out of it, and hopefully the D-Clipper will do a decent job of salvaging this terrible dialogue. We have now turned it up to 11 the gain is at lewd we have now turned it up to 11 the gain is at lewd we have now turned it up to 11 the gain is at lewd with D clipper it's a super simple plugin to use you insert it onto the track that you're trying to restore and then it'll automatically start working for you straight away there's nothing to really set it will just detect things and declip them now there are two modes to choose from or types. Type one is a general use declipper mode suited for most recordings and type two is for those recordings that are more heavily damaged or distorted. What I like most about this plugin is it's just so simple to use and it does a decent job of handling most things you throw at it. Reverb Remover is a plugin which has been designed to treat dialogue tracks that have been recorded in different environments where the room acoustics can affect the quality of the recording. For example, I'm talking in my bathroom and you can hear the echo and reverb of the room, which may not be desirable. So in order to tame this, we must use a reverb remover plugin to try and dial back the ambience, giving the dialogue more focus and putting it up front. There are two versions of reverb remover. In the standard version, you have the central processing dial, and then at the bottom, you have a couple of frequency bands which you can switch between to target different areas, similar to that of noise remover. However, in the pro version, you can create up to six independent spectral bands and really hone in where you want the effect to be applied. It's a much more advanced plugin and does a better job at treating those ambiences. On the lower left of the Pro plugin, you will see a processing response slider. This determines the overall quality or how much of your CPU is going to be used. Reverb Remover Pro does an amazing job at removing the ambience of a room to dry out those vocal tracks. And dare I say, it, I think it actually performs better than D Reverber, which is found in Isotope's RX7. Noise Remover and Noise Remover Pro are a set of plugins designed to help tidy up your recordings to eliminate things such as uh, low level noise and hiss from your components. If you've got not very good mic pre's or your microphone is pretty cheap, you might find the electronics are generating noise. Uh, so yes, it will remove those, but also it's good at removing things like rumble from cars and traffic passing by, or it could be a train passing in the distance. Noise removers are going to help solve a lot of those issues. And these type of plugins won't necessarily fix everything. So if you've got birds that are tweeting and they're quite close to you and it's quite loud, it's not going to fix things like that. You need to more advanced uh, sort of audio restoration tools to deal with stuff like that. But for the most part, these plugins are going to clean up things beautifully.
So in the standard version, you have a few different functions. You have the main processing dial in the middle, and you also have the selectable frequency bands at the bottom if you want to be more specific of where you want this plugin to target for noise removal. But moving on to the pro version, like with Reverb Remover, we can create up to six bands and really hone in where we want the plugin to start using noise removal and how much by. So we have that flexibility there as well. Sibilant sounds like a snake continuously hissing in your ears. Unfortunately, some people are more snake-like than others and require a little TLC in order to tame their sibilants. This is due to the certain consonants we pronounce when we're speaking. Letters that have T's, S's and C's or ch's and sh's to them generate a lot of sibilants and can be hard to deal with. If you're not using a deesser, be prepared to spend hours and hours of your time going through dialog tracks, finding the problematic sibilant sounds and then using automation to manually adjust the gain so those sibilant sounds are no longer annoying. As you may have guessed, the Era 5 Deessa comes in two versions. Standard gives you two modes to choose from. Normal mode, which is used for general deessing that works well in most cases. And for more problematic syllabants, you can use the broad mode. Moving over to the Pro version, we have even more control over its intelligent deessing, which makes the Era 5 Deesser Pro more tangible for use cases not focused towards dialogue. The focus slider allows you to set the frequency range of where you want the plugin to DS. This is great for taming things like harsh cymbals and hissy guitars. The sharpening section allows you to change how the detection and suppression response works. Think of it like a transient designer, allowing you to soften or sharpen the deessing effect. Now, as far as deessers go, they both do a reasonable job, but they don't allow you to go too extreme with your deessing, as you will start developing some weird artifacts that make you sound like you're lisping with your speech. But in terms of them being simple to work with and giving you a result, they do a good job. I just wouldn't say that this is the best out there or the best in this bundle. Finally, let's take a look at the Era 5 Audio Clean Up Assistant and the Voice Leveler plugin as well. The Audio Clean Up Assistant is basically an insert that acts as an empty shell, so you can load up to five of the Era 5 plugins in a signal chain of your choosing. This is really useful because you can dial in a sound that's broadcast quality very quickly by simply just loading one of the presets that come available or just by building up your own signal chain, saving it and then recalling it at any point across any project on any sequencer or video editing software. The two things that let the audio cleanup assistant down is one, you cannot manually rearrange the signal chain order by drag and drop. You have to unload the plugins individually and reload them in the chain you want. And B, there's no loading of pro versions of plugins currently into this shell. So there's two things that I would like to see improved upon in future releases for the audio cleanup assistant. Finally, let's talk about one of my favorite plugins from this bundle, and that is the voice leveler. Automating the volume of individual words to create consistency in a performance is possibly one of the most boring and tedious jobs when it comes to audio editing. It's only made worse if you're not using a dedicated DAW or audio editor, which you should be, because if you're not, then you're f crazy. Hours or potentially days could be spent automating volume changes for vocals, but fear not, the voice leveler will help to bring some of your sanity back and stop you from drinking copious amounts of coffee, staying up all night, automating dialogue. There are two main functions to this plugin. You have breath control and you also have emphasis. When engaging breath control, voice leveler will listen for breaths and exclude them from being processed so it will keep them at a natural level. 
emphasis mode will attempt to fix any spectral inconsistencies that result from a speaker's movements. Sometimes it works okay, sometimes it just doesn't sound quite right because it's introducing some weird high-end stuff that just sounds like undesirable artifacts. So I tend to keep this turned off entirely. Apart from that, Voice Leveler does a fantastic job of dynamically balancing things and making it sound like they're right up front and in your face. It's a really good plugin and I do enjoy using it. So what are my final thoughts on the ERA 5 Pro bundle? Overall, my experience has been very positive. It offers an extremely simple yet powerful set of tools for processing dialogue to a very high standard. For independent content creators, filmmakers and voiceover artists, these are almost a no-brainer, simply because you won't need to spend an insane amount of time learning how to become a fully-fledged audio engineer in order to make things sound good. Now the main issue I have with the ERA 5 bundle is not the plugins themselves, but the marketing behind these plugins. Currently, the price tag for the Pro Bundle for a perpetual license to own all of the plugins and not on a subscription model is $999, a thousand dollars you might as well say, for these plugins. Now when you compare that to the standard version, the standard version is only $299. So what is it that warrants a $700 difference, okay? In the Pro version, the only extra plugins you'll get in are the Pro Noise Remover, Pro Reverb Remover, and Pro Deesser. And if you have a Pro Tools rig, you'll also be able to get and use the Room Match plugin, which we couldn't do in this video because I don't own Pro Tools. So technically, for free plugins, you're paying $700 for a slightly more advanced version with a couple of extra features, which is an extremely steep price. Now, when you compare that to other things on the market, Isotope RX is only $399. If it's in a sale, it will be cheaper than that. And that has pretty much all the tools that you would need. The only things that you're not going to get inside of that price tag that you will with the Accusonis bundle is you're not going to get the auto voice EQ, you're not going to have a voice deepener, and you're not going to have a voice leveler. But what you will have is the ability to paint away or Photoshop away troublesome sounds that you're not going to be able to do with this bundle. And when you look at Isotope's RX Advance, yes, it's over a thousand dollars. It's a little bit more expensive, but you're getting so much more for that value, which is what you would expect to see if you were going to drop a grand on a bunch of plugins. So I feel like they need to rethink their pricing structure a little bit, maybe lower the price of the Pro bundle to maybe $300 or $350 and then the standard version do that is $200 or $250. I feel like that would be more reasonable when comparing this bundle to other products in this category on the market. But then again, you could argue that the value for this bundle is in its simplicity. It's so simple to use. You can get incredible results really quickly with minimal effort and at the end of the day maybe that's all you're after.